Hey guys, Nick with Two. How do you do? This video is going to go over a new knife that I made. It is a version of the pocket fixed blade. As you can see, it comes with a leather sheath and stitched. And this is a kind of a one off, basically. Let's zoom in here so you can see. So this is a hammer forged Damascus blade with 1084 and 15 and 20 and hammer forged Mokume Gane copper and nickel handle scales. This has been a project that's been ongoing for a while now. It's one of those things that um, you just, I just couldn't get uh, out of my mind and I wanted to get done, uh, but <clears throat> because of uh, situations and circumstances I couldn't get it done as quickly as I wanted. This is a thick, thick blade, it's about a 3 sixteenths maybe, 3 sixteenths inch blade and just over half an inch wide in the handle. Usually these guys are about three eighths of an inch. So this is about an eighth of an inch, three eighths of an inch thicker. Um, and quite a bit heavier. Um, let me get this scale set up. But this is, uh, as you see, almost 3 16th inch scales that I forged. Um, but they turned out really well. Um, I didn't want to bring them down too thin. Um, it, it feels great in the hand. It is heavy. Let me get a weight on it. It's 8.8 .8 ounces by itself. And with the sheath, it's 10.6. So this is by far the heaviest knife that I've made, but it's just a, a testament of my abilities up to this date, um, being able to forge and uh, I mean uh, forge weld together different layers of steel, and being able to forge weld copper and nickel together, which is actually quite a bit harder because these guys will melt a lot faster than the steel will melt um, so it's a lot harder uh, to to work with because you have to kneel it every couple uh, heats um, because it, it work hardens copper and nickel um, and so that takes all the heat out of it and so you have to wait more to heat it back up and you have to watch it more and to make sure it doesn't uh, melt but it's really, really beautiful. I'm probably going to be able to um, add some pictures at the end. But if not, they're going to be on Facebook or my website. Uh, those links will be in the description. But let's see if I can get some, some good quality images right here of the Mokumegane. I brought this up to about 1,000 grit and then polished it on green uh, compound and white compound and then what I did was take uh, the ferric chloride uh, mixture of uh, white vinegar and ferric chloride about 50-50 that, that I used to etch the Damascus and I dipped it in real quick and then buffed it a little bit that uh, the ferric chloride will attack, uh, attack the copper and actually it'll make it like a pink color but once it's uh, buffed, it gives it a really nice copper color and really nice contrast. But I really like how it turned out. Edges are all chamfered. I don't know if you can see the layers of Damascus, layers of steel there. 
but you can see it on the on the blade. Again, the lighter lighter uh, shade is uh, 15 and 20, and the darker is uh, 1084. Turned out really well. It's really, really sharp. Let me see if I can get a piece of paper. I ground these guys, this guy really thin, and I'm thinking of, of continuing this with the future uh, pocket fix blades. Uh, in the past, they've been kind of thick, but seeing how well this guy cuts, even for being a, a 3 16 cents blade or a stock, it's, it's, it's really, really good. So I think I'm going to continue with the thin, thin grinds and maybe even push the limit and see how thin I can get these in the future. But I really like how it turned out. Let me know what you think. Hopefully I can put some pictures at the end of some better quality. I did a hand stitch the other sheath. It's kind of loose. Uh, but uh, it works. I might add a little retention strap or something in the future. Uh, but right now it works quite well. Again, it's quite heavy, but just fits in the hand really well. So let me know what you think. I hope you like it. I'm really proud of this one. And uh, hopefully going forward I can offer some more uh, awesome blades for you guys. So remember to keep your knife sharp, your mind sharper. I'm Nick Lou too. Thanks for watching guys.